Today we're going to talk about how you can locate uh, different pathogens that are in the body, what tissue they're in, and what type they are, bacteria, virus, fungus, even worms and parasites. So I've already done a scan of myself. These are the various tissues and organs that I chose that I'm working on right now is my digestive system and a couple other things. And when you're all done scanning, this is the page that opens up immediately. And you'll notice that there, the dots, the results of the scan are green for normal, red for acute, and dark red, like in my pancreas, for chronic, something that has been around for a long time and really needs to be addressed. But you also notice in this list, there are no pathogens no microorganisms at all in this list. So how do we find out where they are and what they are? So after you finish the scan, it comes to this page, then you go back to the card index page. And when you're here, you wanna make sure, first of all, that you're on today's scan. So you go over here to the date, and there's a little drop down menu with all the various dates that you've scanned, and you click on the very last one, which is today's date. So now the results in the list are just from today, and that's what you want. Whenever you do therapy, whether it's destructive therapy or metatherapy, you have to do a scan first. You cannot go back to a previous scan, not even yesterday's scan. So you have to do a new, fresh scan each day when you want to do metatherapy or destructive therapy. So let's pick um, a tissue that is highly likely to have parasites. The stomach for one, the pancreas is another, the gallbladder is another. But since my pancreas is the one that said acute, we're just gonna click on that line like I just did. And then we click on the picture and then you click on the graph and it brings you to the page I like to call the Vegetto test page, because this is the only page you can do a Vegetto test, which is to confirm or deny whether you have a pathology or whether you have microorganisms or whether if a certain homeopathic therapy or remedy is good for you or not. It's used for all these various topics up here. But right now today we're talking about microorganisms and helminths, parasites or worms. So we want to check this box and we can see my result. You don't have to click show all because it does give the top ones that are affecting me. Show all will give a more extensive list as you can see. And you can click that or not because you can treat as many of these as you want to, but you don't want to overwhelm your body with the debris from destructive therapy. So now how do you determine which ones are affecting you the most? So you click on the top one in the list. You do this every time, whether it's for pathology or it's for microorganisms. Then you click on adjust all. You can click that at couple times and it brings the most important ones to the top of the list and then auto model will identify the ones that you've had the longest and that are affecting you the most so you notice here this first one heliobacter pylori or h pylori has the infinity sign that means this one's been around for a long time so let's see just how much it is affecting me we go over to the test internal. Your software might say Vegetto test internal. You don't want to pick external because that's for using the cup. When you want to test a supplement, a vitamin, or even a piece of food, and you put it in the cup, that's external. And that's when you use that one because it's going to test something outside of the body. But V test internal is the one we want because we're talking about pathogens that are affecting the inside of the body. So right now we're going to see if H. pylori, how much it's affecting me. So we do the V test. 
sends that frequency into my pancreas to see just how much it's weakening it. You can see it's weakening it a lot. And we know by then dropping down to the analysis plus button, and it tells us just how much. So H. pylori is weakening my gall blood, my pancreas by 45%. And when you compare the two pictures of the pancreas, you can see the definite change when the software sends that frequency into the body of H. pylori, how much it's impacting my pancreas. So we've confirmed that that is indeed affecting me. And we can go right down the list and we can check as many as we want to confirm or deny that this is affecting me. That one looks pretty bad too. That one's 45% as well. So you can do this to as many pathogens as you want to see how much they're impacting you. Looks like all of these are really impacting me quite a bit. This one also 45%. So now what? So I know for sure that these top three are affecting me, but I want to even treat more. And I know I usually show this Ascaris, which is a worm. So I definitely want to treat that. But before I can do any destructive therapy, these things need to be scanned. So this is how you do it. Click on the lowest one in the list that you want to treat. And I'm going to go all the way to rhinoviruses. So I click on this bottom, one, bottom microorganism, and I'm going to hold my mouse down, and then I'm going to scroll it up to the last one. So I've quickly selected all of these. So the next step is to click on the picture. It doesn't matter which pathogen is showing up in this slide, but pick, click on the picture of the microorganism. And now it's going to take you back to this page where now you see those pathogens, worms, microorganisms, viruses are now in the list. So now I can scan them and then destroy them. And the software is so simple from this point. So you just go here to meta correction, click on the little drop down arrow. How many times do you want to? use destructive therapy on each of these, I'm going to say five. I think right now I'll say one just for time's sake. So what it does is first it scans, because it has to be scanned first, as I mentioned. So the software will automatically scan it first, and then it will treat it. And as you notice these bacteria and fungus and various things being scanned, Some of them come up with high numbers like twos or threes, but you want them to turn into fives and sixes. And ultimately, you want them to be completely sixes because in this case, you're trying to destroy the energy of these microorganisms. So the symbols with destructive therapy, you want it to go down to fives and sixes. So that's the way you do destructive therapy. And I'm going to show you as soon as this is finished, how you can also make a remedy to take in between time and between your therapies to also destroy pathogens. You also notice that the software is automatically picking destructive therapy. If you notice over here, it selects the moon or the destructive therapy. It automatically does that. So you don't have to worry that you've, you might be strengthening these pathogens. Okay, so now we can go back to the card 
index page, and it brings us back here to these various microorganisms that I have. And since H. pylori is so bad, maybe I want to create a remedy in a bottle. So I click on the one I want to create it for, H. pylori. I go over here to reprinter. I have my little glass bottle with the eyedropper in the cup. I click on invert. Anything that's destructive or we call a negative topic, like pathogens are a negative topic, illnesses, gastritis, gut dysbiosis, these things are negative topics. You invert the frequency. And now you click on start preparation, which I don't happen to have a bottle in the cup, so, I, so I'll, I'll do it anyway. So you start preparation, and it starts sending frequencies into the little bottle. And you should click this start preparation two or three times to strengthen the water that's in the bottle. And if you notice in this box right here, you have the option of putting it in water, water with alcohol. That's 90% water, 10% alcohol. Sometimes I use tequila, sugar, or wax. I don't really know how to use sugar or wax, and it's very easy for me to buy eyedropper bottles off of Amazon, very inexpensively, two ounce bottles. So that's what I've chosen. And typically I'm clicking on alcohol, because if you add the 10% alcohol, this remedy will last an entire month. So now you can pick a different tissue let's say intestines. And once again, you can see which bacteria are affecting the intestines. Most of them will probably be the same, but you, there might be a couple new ones like these two, Pseudomonas arginosa, which I tend to have a, a lot, shows up in my urine when they take urine tests. And this is a new one for me, this Echovirus 9, but it makes perfect sense when I read what it is, I can click on it, go over here to Edelon description, and it tells me exactly how I might have gotten this bacteria. So I want to also kill this one. In fact, I want to kill these two. So I'm going to click on that one and hold down my mouse and drag it up just to the, the next one. Click on the picture again. Now it brings me to this page where I can automatically do the destructive therapy. The software automatically scans the bacteria, does destructive therapy, and you notice those numbers are changing from threes and fours to fives and sixes. See that pseudomonas is alive and kicking. So that one I'm going to do a few more times. But that's how you do it. I hope uh, you've learned something from this video and keep checking in often as I will be adding new videos all the time, how to use different therapies in the software. And I'll see you next time.